G'day, it's Plumbing Engineers. Welcome to Future Engineering and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about one, why you should learn Fusion 360, two, how you can use this YouTube channel to learn Fusion 360, and three, what you might expect after about, I don't know, a month, then maybe three months, maybe six months. So let's go. Why would you learn Fusion 360? Well, engineering has become knowledge work. It used to be a skilled job, which you used your hands, maybe pen and paper, maybe, maybe a drawing board, but uh, that's all changing. It's just like 40 years ago, there used to be a job called typist. And uh, a typist would just type 50, 80, 100 words a minute, and that was their job. But uh, then when word processors came along, it's gone. Now every white collar worker, and especially managers, they've got to be able to type for themselves. And it's the same with uh, engineering and manufacturing. Everybody works off the CAD model, not just the designers, but also the machinists. The guys that turn the wheel on the machines, the guys that make the things, they work off the CAD model. Everybody in product development, you know, rapid prototyping, CNC, that's all working off the CAD model as well. Then sales and marketing. You've got to make illustrations, you've got to make exploded designs for the, uh, the parts team. It's all working off the CAD model. The management team, they use the CAD model and uh, spare parts and maintenance. Yeah, everybody in the whole company from beginning to end is working off the CAD model. Even hobbyists and backyarders these days, Fusion 360 software is fantastic. It's for free and you can, especially inventors, I want to talk to inventors a lot more in the future. But how can you use this channel? Well, if you do the 16 basic tutorials, they're right here on my channel, they're in a playlist, and there's a few supporting videos to go with them, that'll get you started. You'll be able to make simple engineering prismatic parts. These are the basic parts that most mechanical engineering assemblies are made from. What you do is you work through the tutorials, and by the time you've done 16 of them, it might take you 20 hours in total. Some people throw a whole day or two at it. Some people fit in one hour a week for a few weeks. Um, but if you, if you download the drawings, and I'll give you the link, it's in the description below. If you download the drawings, print them off and keep them right next to your computer monitor, then uh, you'll be able to follow along those tutorials and go step by step. It's click by click. Now there has been a UI change in the meantime, it's two years old now. There's been a UI change and there's just a few tools that have been moved from one place to another. And I've made another video explaining where those things are changed. But also I've done a demonstration, a couple of short videos where I do each part in 60 seconds as a supplement to the tutorials. And that gives you a demonstration of the first few parts at least in the, the most up-to-date UI. After you've done the 16 basic tutorials, then you can go on and do the intermediate tutorials. And that's where you begin to take uh, parts that you've created or downloaded from somewhere else. You can take parts, you can modify them, and then you can assemble them together and make them work. Now everybody gets stuck occasionally, and you'll have questions to ask. What was that you were doing? How do I do this? I can't work this one out. Well then, you've got to ask me questions. Now there's comments below in the comments section under the video, but there's also a Facebook page that I've set up and I've put the link below, and that's a great place for you to ask questions put up some photos of what you're working on, uh, ask other people questions, and there'll be a discussion going on, hopefully. And uh, if you can make a screenshot or a screencast, that is, you can record your screen while you're doing something, that'll really help the discussion. So what can you expect? If you take on these, these uh, 16 basic tutorials, well, maybe after a month, you'll be able to make those basic prismatic shapes, and then you'll be able to start thinking of some things for your own projects where you'll be able to make things for yourself but you're probably going to need click-by-click -click tutorials for some time and it'll be a gradual transition from click-by-click -click tutorials to working on your own projects. It takes about six months maybe. Now different people are different of course. Some are quicker, some are slower, some learn fast, some are able to spend a lot more time learning. But maybe after six months you'll be doing more of your own projects and you'll be learning to fly solo after six months, which means you can sit down at the computer and you can work without referring to tutorials or forums or asking questions and getting support. But you'll still be learning things, you'll still be looking in forums, you'll still be finding specific tutorials. And maybe after 12 months, uh, if you've had several hundred hours of practice with Fusion 360, well then that's when you can start to expect 
to be flying solo most of the time and uh, you might just be making reference to um, the useful materials on the internet, in YouTube and in the help system and also on the, uh, the Fusion 360 forums. Um, but um, after 12 months, you can expect to be doing your own work. So you've got to give yourself that time and keep your expectations realistic. But uh, plenty of my students are already making parts for their projects and their hobbies with it, as soon as they finish the 16 basic tutorials. Of course, they're simple ones, but it's a beginning. And you can get there too. What are you going to use Fusion 360 for when you get good at it? Well, that's all in the future. The future starts now.